are. So, uh, yeah. All right. So, you know, uh, we were talking about, I was seeing all over uh, social media yesterday about the snow that's coming to upstate New York. You I used know. to work up there in yep. Buffalo. Uh, I, I mean, do. they're going to get slammed. Like, yes. Uh, anywhere from three to four feet in wow. some areas. So, multiple feet of snow expected for my fellow Western oh. New Yorkers. So. Okay. Sorry for them. <laughs> yeah, I, do I don't miss that. I do not miss driving up in the snow, but uh, I, I do miss forecasting lake effect snow. It is a lot of fun, but uh, it's very definitive. So the lake effect bands, it just depends on the wind direction, how the winds flow over the lake and the cold temperatures too. So there's a lot to take into account. We're not going to be dealing with lake effect snow across Maryland. We have in the past. We have actually seen some of that lake effect snow drift in from the Great Lakes, but this morning we're dealing with a very isolated snow shower kind of dwindling as it passes off towards our east. And you can see mainly those flurries are lingering just to the north of Perry Hall, but most areas are waking up to a dry start, but we are waking up to some of those clouds. This morning we're waking up with temperatures in the upper 30s and the lower 40s. And given the fact that we have that cloud cover above, that is helping the metro stay a little bit milder this morning with a temperature of 40, 42 over in Easton and currently sitting at 36 degrees up in Parkton in the Hereford zone. But don't let those air temperatures fool you. Right now, our wind chill values are in the mid to upper 20s to even the mid 30s, feeling like 30 degrees up in Parkton and actually feeling like 27 up in Thurmont. So all the layers are needed for you and the kids before they head out to the bus stop. Wind chill values are actually going to stay in the 30s even through the afternoon, even though our air temperatures are expected to climb into the mid 40s. Today, we're expected to be anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees cooler on this national hiking day. So if you want to hit the trails today, just make sure to layer up. We're going to be dealing with dry conditions with a mix of sun and clouds through the afternoon. Mainly clear skies overnight allow for very strong radiational cooling to take place. So that basically means that with clear air or clear skies above, it allows that heating that we will receive today, not going to be a lot, but that'll go right back up into the sky. That's going to help our overnight lows bottom out below freezing for most of us as we wake up early Friday morning. Your wind gust forecast throughout the day out of the west northwest winds could kick up and gust up to 30 miles per hour, especially north and west of the Baltimore Metro. So this is going to add that element of chill to the air. The long sleeves I would just put on the turtleneck. Definitely grab the scarf as well. Here's a look at our wake up temperatures over the next three mornings. So tomorrow morning we will be waking up with a number right around the 28 degree mark, upper 20s for a lot of spots, and that's going to linger throughout the upcoming weekend. And then temperatures will just get colder as we head into Sunday. So here's a look at your seven day forecast. 44 degrees today, dropping off to 28 degrees as we head overnight. 46 and breezy also as we head into your Friday. It's going to feel like late December or early January this weekend with wind gusts up to 30 on Sunday and then warming things back up near average into the 50s by the middle of next week. Megan. All right, Stevie, thank you for that.